Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm back inside the interior of the Scion FRS and there seems to be one thing that I wanna do that's still missing. A lot of people who already own this car know this issue. No armrest. So I'm about to install one for this video. Hopefully. So I just have the armrest like mocked up right now, roughly where it's gonna go. So with this armrest, what you do is there's a little button right here. You're gonna press the button and the armrest lifts up. That's how you get access to your cup holders. So we have all these holes where there's gonna be little tiny screws that go into, but there's a couple of holes in here which I won't be able to reach. So what I'm gonna do is find a way to get this outline apart from the whole armrest to make it easier to mock up before I start drilling into the car. So the first step that I'm gonna do is we have these six uh, Phillip head screws that go into the armrest, which I'm gonna remove hoping that I can get this whole outline apart from the soft armrest part. So I did get all six screws removed. Hopefully this just comes off. Got this off. Now we have our outline with our holes so we know where to drill. All right, so I have my armrest kind of mocked up where I want it. Now, the only tough thing is trying to get the holes lined up. So basically, this sits flat onto the car, but this side is poking up because of these. So basically, I gotta mock it up on one side <laughs> and then hopefully I can get these two holes just right. So right now I have it mocked up as best as I could. Now I'm gonna start drilling our pilot holes. Hopefully I don't mess up cause I can't undo this. But let's get started. All right, we got one. Two. Made a little bit of a mess. Overall, I think it's pretty good. All right, so I have my pilot holes mocked up. Now we have this bag of little, I guess, inserts and screws. So I need to drill out these holes big enough for these inserts to slide in. This is gonna be the thing that holds our armrest to our plastic here. All right, well, now we're gonna get started and drill these holes out. All right, there we go. Okay. Now let's get one of our small screwdrivers for this job and let's start putting these in. So, I have some bad news. Don't buy cheap products from Amazon. I thought I could get away with it. I was wrong. Normally these armrests are about 200 bucks. I found one on Amazon for about 50. Thought it would be, you know, same install, but they come with cheap hardware. So, what you're supposed to do is install these where you drill the holes, you screw this in, and that would create a seal so this won't pop out. But the thing is, you see the little threads that are in this? I already lost two of them. I lost two screws because of that. And I didn't get to put all the hardware in, but I made it work. Some sides aren't as, um, I guess, well put in. But I mean, it'll work, you know? There's not a lot of weight going on this. It's not like you're gonna pop it up and like yank it out. So, you know, it is what it is. I got what I paid for, but yeah, kind of disappointed. But then again, you know, I'm not gonna s go back and spend another $200 on a better quality armrest. It, all I want is, you know, rest my hand. That's all I need. 
I don't need like all nice fancy inserts or anything, but yeah, this this was a disappointment. So I'm just gonna finish up putting the, the leather part back on and I'll show you how it looks at the end. All right, end conclusion, not happy. So, it won't close anymore. Push it in, it won't lock, it just pops right back up. Maybe it was my mistake. Maybe didn't drill the holes right, I'm not sure, but yeah. Won't close, not all the screws are in, but I mean, the armrest part is nice. Maybe there's a way to fix this, maybe I'll try it later, but for now, just gonna leave it as is. I guess that's the end of this video, but for now, I'll let you guys go. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so yet, please like, share, subscribe, comment, but yeah, that's it for now. You know, have a good one. All right, guys, I'm actually back. I couldn't end the video just like that. So today is the next day. Uh, I decided to figure out a way to fix this armrest, right? So I removed the whole center console once again. I managed to get it to work. What I had to do is, uh, basically I had to use my own hardware because the one I was provided was, it was missing some pieces and whatever was included didn't work at all. So. What I did is I had to dig into uh, one of my family toolbox, just full of random screws and stuff. And so what I did was I found these screws that actually had like a small nut on the back. So you see right there, there's a little nut on the back. And the little grommets that were provided, I actually glued them in place, hoping that they wouldn't just pop out. And on this side, I used a big nut just to use it basically as a washer to hold it in place. So the issues that I had with it was this front part right here would actually curve up. So it wasn't sitting flush with our center console. And because it wasn't sitting flush, it was actually curved up. Uh, when I went to go lock it, the center console wouldn't close because this was curved up. So it would hit on this outer trim first before I can lock it. So what I had to do was find a way to get this as low as possible. Uh, it's still not perfectly flat. So in order to make it lock, I had to add another uh, washer above this in between right here. So now I have that gap, but that allows us to lock it. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, reinstall everything and hopefully I finally have a working armrest. All right, just finished the whole center console install. Armrest actually looks pretty good now, matching with our interior with the red stitching over here and on the seats. Just press this button, voila, we have our cup holders. If we move this back, we still have our 12 volt outlet. And just plop, locks in place. Took a lot longer than I expected, but I mean, I'm happy with the fitment now. Basically, if you want something right, you gotta do it yourself. Or don't cheap out, especially don't cheap out. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. If you guys can, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please comment. If you see that I did something wrong, please let me know. Uh, if I end up doing another one, I'll learn from next time, you know? But yeah, end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.